Hello everybody, I'm Nerdy Guy, and one thing I see way too often is people using expressions like Oh, I have the right to my own opinion, or I have my First Amendment rights, or I have, the right, I have freedom of speech, freedom of expression, freedom of thought, freedom of opinion, a lot of freedoms. And a lot of people are using that wrong. Because they're using it to justify that they should be allowed to have their opinion and nobody should ever be allowed to question them. But that's not how it works. You know, the First Amendment means that you're not allowed to be prosecuted for your opinion. The government is not allowed to make any laws forbidding any religion, any freedom of speech, or anything like that. And despite what a lot of people says, yeah, that counts for atheism as well. You can't forbid atheism, smart asses. But that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is to talk about how so many people use freedom of speech wrong. Because you can have the opinion that the sun is a useless object and we should just blow it up. And if I were to hear that, I would think, say, I would think and say that, wow, well, that's stupid. You know, the sun's a really vital thing. It keeps us alive. You can't just blow it up. If I'm saying that, then I'm not going against your freedom of speech because you have the right to say it and you have said it and you're not being prosecuted by any police for it. But the fact that I'm saying that your opinion is wrong, it does not go against freedom of speech because I have my I have the right to my opinion that your opinion is stupid. And the whole freedom of speech thing, it really blew up when what's it called? Phil Robertson and Duck Dynasty did the whole thing. We we're talking about gay people. And his show got, I think, was temporarily cancelled, but I think brought it back again. The network, like I said, they, temper they thought about cancelling the show completely, and people lost their shit, like, Oh my god, freedom of speech is under attack. Ah! The freedom of speech was not under attack. Phil Robertson was not being prosecuted by police or the government for what he said, but there's nothing in freedom of speech that says that, they, that, the, team, that the network has to give him a spot for a platform for him to speak his opinion. The First Amendment does not say that every TV channel must allow people to say homophobic stuff in television. That's not, you know, you can look through that thing. That's not what it says. I'm sorry. Actually, let's just quote directly the First Amendment here. My computer is really slow today, so this might take a while. But anyway. Sarah Palin was one of the people who was really adamant about this, like, Oh, freedom of speech is under attack, he should have the right to say if he wants, blah, 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 blah. She wasn't that concerned about freedom of speech when a radio host was saying, <laughs> was talking trash about her and her policies. That's not that's not the same thing, though. No, no, no. No, no, no. He's not allowed to have freedom of speech. Only Phil Robertson is allowed to have freedom of speech. And this, uh, this other guy actually did lo lose his job for it. Interesting. There we go. Finally. People tend to be really hypocritical about these things. They think it's really important to protect the freedom of speech unless it's not their opinion. Then, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see, here is the text. Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting fr the free exercise thereof or abridging the freedom of speech or or of the press, or the right of people to peacefully assemble and to petition the government for a, for a redress of grievances. Does it say anywhere in there that a TV network has to give ra racist and homophobic people a platform to speak? No. It says government. It wasn't the government that called for the cancelment of its show. That's... Not freedom of speech. Freedom of speech was not violated. But I still see people doing this. Saying stupid shit like this. Like, oh, you, you shouldn't criticize my opinion because I have freedom of speech. Yeah, you know, I have freedom of speech too. And I'm, I am I have the freedom to say that your, what you just said is stupid. That doesn't violate freedom of speech. That's my freedom of speech. But, you know... It's what they say. The last idiot has not been born yet. So they, even though I make this video, there will be tons of more people who's going to use this wrong and claim that, well, they have the right to their freedom of speech to say that the sun is a useless object and nobody should ever question them about it. 
But hey, what do you think? Leave a comment and tell me, rate this video, subscribe if you like my videos, look me up on Tumblr at nerdyguyranting.tumblr.com And, before I forget it, remember to vote for me in the competition, go follow the link in the description and press this button. And once you pressed it, you have voted for me, and you can vote more than once. My girlfriend discovered this, you can vote several times a day. So, I know it's much to ask, but please vote for me as many times as you can, because I will be really happy if I can win this. Please help me dethrone the asshole with 700 votes, who made a minute-long review about how Rio 2 was about birds who sing and dance. That was literally all he said. Help me dethrone that asshole. But anyways, I'm Nerdy Guy. And you just watch another guy rap.